Right, it's uh, well over two hours and probably nearer three hours at least since uh, I last had this running and I put the timing back, the ignition timing back as it was yesterday when I rode it. So everything now is like it was yesterday when I rode it except that the cylinder base nuts have been tightened and the valve clearance is rechecked. I raised the float height before I rode it yesterday so that's still the same and um, I'm glad that I marked the ignition timing as it was before I disturbed it to so supposedly set it correctly uh, because I've managed to be able to put it right back where it was when we took the ride yesterday. So now what I want to do is just see what a cold start will be like now that the timing is back where I had it when I rode it the other day because when I attempted to start it with the timing set correctly in inverted commas it wasn't keen. But like I say, I think we've got excessive advance on the mechanism. I think it's worn and it's advancing further than it should, which is not ideal. But when I had it set so that the full advance timing was supposedly correct, we were getting far too much retard. Something like that. a bit more like it. Right, it's getting hot now, but uh, I can keep my hand on the cylinder head. The engine's got to warm up yet. Now I can promise and guarantee that I haven't touched the settings at all on the carburetor since we saw all that spitting and popping and performing earlier on when I tried to cold start it. So it just goes to show the effect that the ignition timing can have on starting. And that was basically over-retarded timing that was uh, causing that spitting and popping and uh, that may well have contributed towards the uh, fire we had the other day. Uh, it was mentioned um, one or two people thought they could see sparks of something electrical going off in there. I've checked previously and as we can see now there isn't anything there. When this thing caught fire it was all down to the spitting back out of the carburetor. There we are, that's it, all back as it was the other day. And I'm going to leave it alone. That sounds overall uh, happier than when it was supposedly correct. And uh, like I say, I know from riding it yesterday and the fact that the timing is back exactly where it was when I rode it, that uh, overall, in the grand scheme of things, as I like to say, I think it's pretty happy with life and I'm leaving it there, apart from changing these screws when the replacements arrive. Hopefully, that's another job done.